Welcome to the presentation of our live moving base drone operation, landing and takeoff. The moving base in this case is simulating a ship or a truck. For a better understanding, I will narrate the process as you watch the video demonstration. For the sake of convenience, we are using a car and a trailer to simulate the ship landing. Once the aircraft is armed, the operator would issue the start command and the drone would take off in its vertical flight mode. As it ascends, it will make sure to match the speed of the carrier vehicle till it reaches the preset transition altitude. Only at this altitude would it transition to forward flight mode. This is a key feature of this development as it ensures that the aircraft would only change its horizontal position relative to the ship, after it is safely above any onboard obstacles. As it completes the transition to forward flight, the drone would proceed to the predefined mission. This moving base feature of the drone is completely autonomous. However, as is seen in this video, there must be an operator on deck to supervise the takeoff and landing process. All through the flight, the aircraft keeps track of the vehicle's location in real time. As soon as the mission is completed or interrupted by the operator, the airplane would fly back to the vessel. It then proceeds to track its movement and will maintain a safe hold-off altitude. At the same time, it will continue to circle in its most efficient forward flight mode. If the truck or ship is in motion, then the aircraft will continue to shift the center of the circle to always maintain the optimal landing approach for a preset angle. You can see this spiral-like behavior on the top left of the screen. Also note how the aircraft changes the intercept angle as the vehicle turns in another direction. Once the appropriate command is issued, the airplane will proceed to lower its altitude even more and approach the sea or land vessel from a preset angle. This angle can be customized so that the aircraft will know to avoid any obstacles. For example, the mast of a ship. As the airplane approaches, it will transition to its vertical flight mode, considering both the wind and the vehicle speed, so that it would arrive right over the landing position. It will then start to descend to the landing pad while continuously tracking and keeping up with the vehicle's own velocity and heading. All this is still done fully autonomously. Unless otherwise instructed by the operator, the aircraft will proceed to touchdown on the exact position that it took off from. We hope that you enjoyed this simulation video.